Hi friends, today we will be speaking about border crops which are used in uh, organic farming and sustainable practices. It is essential that natural pest control should be made more feasible in organic farming and this is a sustainable approach in the management of insect populations. Barrier crops or border crops have been known for long in reducing pest populations. Border crop is considered as another minor crop on the perimeter of the main crop. That means it surrounds the main crop. Border crop should be higher than the main crop so that if at all there are any insects that are coming, they should be falling on the border crop rather than reaching the main crop. There are a few things which are essential. The border crop should be very much optimal and it should not leach away the nutrients and the water intended for the main crop. The second aspect is it should not be generating insects on its own. It should not be contributing any insects. So a border crop is useful in fact to avoid the insects falling from the neighboring fields and secondly one more important thing is ours is a field which is considered to be sustainable and organic but the neighboring fields may not be so what happens whenever they spray any pesticide it should be directly a part of it may be falling into our fields the organic field and uh, the whole product will be not complaining and failing. Therefore, the border crop should be protecting the pesticide from falling into the main crop. This is another important factor. The third thing is, border crop should be contributing to somewhere. They should be useful also in the sense they should be contributing to the biodiversity and in some cases they are also useful in uh, enriching the soil. The mainly maize is used as a border crop and sorghum is also used as a border crop. The border crops are, uh, I mean they begin with the main crop. They are sold at the same time, but they grow faster and cover the main crop and thus uh, they are helpful in uh, these two aspects that is in controlling the insects and in controlling the pesticides from the neighboring uh, fields. In this picture, we see a border crop which is planted along with the main crop that is chili and it is in between two different fields belonging to different growers. This picture shows a slightly grown up border crop which is separating a cotton and chili field. This is a fully grown border crop. Look at the height. It's much higher than the chili crop and thus protects as much as possible the entry of the insects or the droplets of the spray from the adjacent crop. Apart from serving as a protective crop, border crop is also a good biodiversity initiative.
this is a non pesticide managed chili crop and we can see the border crop and in the next video clip we'll see how the droplets will be emerging from a sprayer and how the broader crop really can help in protecting the organic field. Please subscribe. Thank you.